Tankar and I are working hard to learn a little bit more on a molecular level about how tumors behave in patients who are responding to chemotherapy versus those who aren't. We are finding that just pooling everybody in one group as ovarian cancer patients is not good enough. And that is probably one of the reasons why some of our chemotherapies don't work. We're hoping to identify specific pathways and uh, protein changes that are present in an individual cancer patient. So what one patient is receiving for chemotherapy is actually targeted very specifically at their tumor's behavior. That's huge in terms of chemotherapy toxicity and potentially its effectiveness to actually be using chemotherapy that you know is going to stop the cells that are damaging patient's health without, without causing the side effects and um, cellular toxicities to normal tissue, which is what we struggle with in our patients with our standard chemotherapies. So the data that Dr. Berlet will get through her work is really going to be expansive. We can always look at those new therapies, uh, find the mechanism and, and the way that they work, and then go back to this database that will be created through this the, the funding that Sparkle is providing and start looking at patients that can match up with that specific therapy. The very first funds we received to start this project were from the Sparkle Fund. The Sparkle Funds gave us the opportunity to start a preliminary work in order to apply for a larger pool of funding. CORPCOP stands for Gynecologic Oncology Longitudinal Data Collection and Utilization Project. This is a computer program where we keep track of patient's information, patient's basic health data, how the surgery goes, what is the outcome of the surgery, what are the chemotherapies and radiotherapy that the patient will get. My colleagues and all the research personnel are involved in the in Cold Cup. Everybody is contributing not only by entering data, but also by supervising and understanding it. Funds from Sparkle of Hope and the generous people like you will help us get the Gold Cup to a standard that we will feel comfortable to make it regional or even national standard that will help all of us speak the same language about research, about outcome, but more importantly about patient satisfaction and outcome. WISH is the Women's Integrative Sexual Health Program which is provided from the Department of OBGYN as well as from the Carbone Cancer Center. This is not your sterile, white-walled doctor's office um, because if you're going to be talking about such sensitive issues, you really need kind people who are willing to listen and really hear what you have to say and work through that. And the people that are in this clinic day to day are kind people who really want to help people get on to their normal lives. When women come in to see us, they're so relieved that someone is just willing to listen. What her sexual life was like before, how she related to her partner before, and how cancer impacted not only her um, emotional life and her life with her family and her thoughts about her future, but how it changed her sexuality and her um, ability to be intimate with the, with the person that she's most connected to in the world. We're coordinating a database um, registry that hopefully we can learn from a larger patient population. We're trying to not only help our local, local ladies, but also start to help people and build um, real data and science behind what we're doing. To get them cured and then, and then all the way through to survivorship and moving on with their life in a way that they have a wonderful quality. That's what we're going for here. <laughs>